ब्रह्मणो ही प्रतिष्ठा हम अमृत से अव्ययस्य च शाश्वत से च धर्म से सुख से एकांतिक हेलो फ्रेंड्स फ्रेंड्स दिस इज दी सेवेंथ श्लोक ऑफ दी फोर्टीन चैप्टर ऑफ भगवद गीता एंड टुडे वी विल अंडरस्टैंड दिस श्लोक इन डिटेल सो लेट्स फर्स्ट गोवर इट्स मीनिंग सो दिस श्लोक सेज ब्रह्मणो ही प्रतिष्ठा हम विच मीन्स बिकॉज आई एम दी अबोर्ड ऑफ ब्रह्म अमृत से अव्ययस्य च विच मीन्स इमोर्टल एंड इम्पेरिशेबल शाश्वत से च धर्म से विच मीन्स इटर्नल एंड धर्म सुख से एकांतिक विच मीन्स ब्लिसफुल एंड सॉलिटरी सो इन द लास्ट श्लोक ऑफ द फोर्टीन चैप्टर ऑफ भगवद गीता श्री कृष्णा इज एक्सप्लेनिंग वाई दिस डिवोशन टू हिम लिफ्ट द पर्सन आउट ऑफ द इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ द क्वालिटीज ऑफ नेचर he says that this happens because he is the abode of the immortal imperishable brahm which is eternal dharmic blissful and solitary so in this chapter we have already understood that uh, whatever quality we attach to in life that is what we become so if we follow this reasoning then we can understand then if we attach to that which is beyond the qualities then uh, beyond the qualities is what we will become so this logic can help us to understand how attachment to shri krishna lifts us out of the influence of uh, prakriti and takes us to the level of brahma so from shri krishna comes brahma and uh, brahma is said to have two aspects which is purush and prakriti this entire creation is prakriti while purush is nothing but the observer of this entire creation or the observer of prakriti so purush and prakriti basically complement each other wherein uh, they are intertwined between each other so it's basically like uh, uh, how heat is in fire or uh, coldness is in snow similarly purush and prakriti are related to each other so if purush remains identified with a particular quality of prakriti then he basically becomes bound to that particular portion of prakriti but uh, if purush on the other hand expands himself and uh, he starts to identify with that which is beyond prakriti or you can say which is beyond the entire creation then he goes beyond prakriti and he attains the level of brahma or in other words you can say that he then attains that uh, in which prakriti entire prakriti is standing basically so this uh, where the this situation where uh, in there where the entire prakriti is standing this is the abode of brahma which is shri krishna therefore attachment to shri krishna which is basically bhakti towards shri krishna is the thing which will lift the purush to the level wherein uh, prakriti is now enclosed in that and so he is beyond the influence of prakriti so that is basically the message of this shloka you can understand it from the example of the potter's wheel which is turning on an axle if one remains identified with just one spoke of that wheel then he is bound to just that spoke and uh, he is basically just uh, attached to a simple small portion of the prakriti now if one lifts oneself out of this spoke and looks at this wheel in its entirety then he'll see that the wheel basically is uh, situated on the axle so when he was on the wheel on the spoke of the wheel then of course he was stuck in the cycle of uh, the rotation of the wheel and so he was seeing changes and he was susceptible to those changes but now when he lifts himself out of the wheel and looks at the axle then he realizes that the wheel is not going anywhere it's just standing on the axle and is just rotating around the action axle so if he were to then attach himself to this axle then he will get to the position where he attains his true nature which is eternal unchanging and solitary uh, because the wheel is rotating on that axle so that is what shri krishna is saying over here that if one with devotion attaches to me then he will lift himself out of the influence of prakriti he lift himself from that rotation which is going on and he will attain the the unchanging eternal state which is at the axle and you know that this state which is eternal unchanging that by very definition 
is dharma and bliss himself you or you can say that dharma and bliss is defined by attaining this state so we are all actually searching for this state and whether we are aware of this or not but all our actions are actually ultimately motivated by attainment of this state and you can attain it if you were to uh, perform devotion towards shri krishna with ultimate necessity so that devotion towards shri krishna will lift you out of prakriti and will take you to this uh, state of brahma which is basically uh, the state on which which is which is the state which is situated in shri krishna so by attachment to shri krishna you will attain the state of brahma so that was the message of this shlok i hope that i have explained this shlok well to you and i hope that i have explained this chapter well to you with that we'll close this video i'll see you in the next video take care